پچھلے سال یعنی کہ دوہزار اکیس میں دنیا کے چار مشہور کو پہما پہلی مرتبہ سردیوں میں کیٹو کو سر کر کے تاریخ رقم کرنے نکلے تھے ان میں سے تین کو پہما اپنی منزل کے قریب تھے کہ لا پتا ہو گئے ان میں پاکستان کے علی صد پارا تھے آئس لینڈ کے جان سنوری تھے اور چلی کے پوان پابلو مور شامل تھے پانچ فروری کو آٹھ ہزار میٹر سے زیادہ بلندی پر کیٹو کی چوٹی کے قریب آخری مرتبہ علی صد پارا کے بیٹے ساجد صد پارا نے انہیں دیکھا تھا اور ساجد صد پارا ان کے ساتھ تھے مگر آکسیجن ریگولیٹر کی خرابی کی وجہ سے وہ پھر مہم ادھوری چھوڑ کر واپس آنے پر مجبور ہو گئے تھے بعد میں تصدیق یہ ہوئی کہ کیٹو پر تاریخ رقم کرنے کی ہمت رکھنے والے تینوں بہادر کو پیما دنیا میں نہیں رہے تینوں کو پیماؤں کی تلاش کے لیے حکومت پاکستان نے کئی دنوں تک سرچ اور ریسکیو آپریشن کیا تھا لیکن وہ کامیاب نہ ہو سکا اور پھر اس کے بعد محمد علی صد پارہ کے صاحب زادے ساجد صد پارہ ایک بین الاقوامی کو پیما اور فوٹوگرافر ایلیہ سکلائی کے ساتھ خود ریسکیو آپریشن کرنے نکلے تھے اور تینوں کی لاشوں کو تلاش کر کے وہیں پر ان کی تدفین کی تھی اب اسی طرح کا واقعہ یقیناً کسی بھی خاندان کے لیے بہت بڑا حادثہ ہوتا ہے جان سنوری کی فیملی آج ہمارے ساتھ موجود ہے یہ پاکستان آئے ہوئے ہیں اور اس عظیم کو پیما کے بارے میں بھی ان سے جانیں گے اور یہ بھی جانیں گے کہ وہ کیسے انہیں یاد کرتے ہیں اور پاکستان میں ان کی آمد کی وجہ کیا ہے ہمارے ساتھ ان کی فیملی موجود ہیں لینا وائف آف جان سنوری وی ایف گوٹ ہاتلا دا ڈاٹر آف جان سنوری السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دا شو اینڈ آن مائی لیفٹ سائڈ وی ہیو کرسٹین اینڈ کیرن وہ دا سسٹرز آف جان سنوری السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دا شو Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good um, morning. First of all, uh, starting from you, Lena, um, if we can just, obviously it's, it's, a, it's a huge loss, huge it's loss a and it's, it's a sad moment for you and for everyone who belongs to this community of, of mountaineering. Uh, we would like to know what was it like when you came to know that John Snorri and the other uh, mountaineers are untraceable? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to thank you for having us on this show and I want to thank the Pakistan nation for the warm welcoming. Uh, it is really hard to explain this so, you know, the, the journey of sorrow after, after we lost Jan. So it's, uh, it, it was kind of a really difficult moment for us. And Actually, a few weeks after he disappeared, I, me at least, I stayed in the mountain for the mm. whole time, hoping He'd that they, they, they would come back. And I kind of, uh, and we kind of believed that they would come, you know, appear after a few times. And how was When his excitement about this whole journey of going to K2 and conquering it? Before yeah. everything yes. happened, yeah, we were, kind of yeah we were we had like strong belief that they too Jon and Ali would conquer the mm. winter expedition Ali being you know so a uh, great mountaineer your your best mountaineer yes. and uh, we were so thrilled that Ali would uh, wanted to work with us so we had high hopes for it and kind of in my heart and I truly believe that they summit K2 on the 5th of February 2021. Mm. Yes. Mm. And this is what Sajid actually says. Yeah. Yes. Mm. yeah, I believe so because yeah. Yeah, Hartla, coming towards you, when you found out and when we also were reporting here sitting in our studios, we were reporting that Ali Satpara and John Snowy and all these people have went missing, but we had this hope within us that Even after two days, three days, we felt that yeah. we are going to be breaking the news that mm -hmm. they have been found mm -hmm. and they are okay. Mm -hmm. Did you, how long did you hang on with that hope that he is going to be found and tomorrow I'm going to open the TV and it will be the headlines that they are back? Uh, I think for the longest of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Letting, mm -hmm. letting go of that hope was very difficult for us also yeah. mm -hmm. when, when we, we had to announce finally that this is how they were found mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even then we had this very difficult moment so I'm just trying to understand what what were you going through mm -hmm. I think I didn't realize I was just like it's fine it's that he will come home mm -hmm. and then still today it's not really that real but yeah okay so uh, uh, mm, are, you, are you the only dot No, I have five siblings. Okay. okay. Wow, yeah. mashallah. And <laughs> you're the eldest or yeah. the youngest or in between? I'm the oldest. You're the oldest. Yeah. Oh, so okay. you had to give the hope to the others as well. Mm. Yeah. And how was your relationship with your father? Because daughters are favorites of fathers. That's what at least <laughs> what I have experienced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we had a great relationship. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, yeah. okay. Coming to Christine and Karen. Uh, what brings you to Pakistan? Oh, well, we want to uh, just number one show our appreciation to the national, uh, to the Pakistani nation for uh, everything they have done for us as a family, and uh, and also uh, hopefully uh, getting uh, some kind of a closure. Also, mm -hmm. being here in Pakistan. It's very important to us to just get the closure and 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 the last uh, steps for Jan mm -hmm. So that's very important. Mm -hmm. You, I just say the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because because <laughs> brothers and yeah. sisters mm -hmm. they hold a very they share a very special bond. We do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Growing up together, yeah. having those fights yeah. and you know <laughs> snatching things e from each other's hands and then looking out for each other. Yeah supporting each other in the difficult mm. of times, most toughest of yeah. mm. moments mm. In, in the life. Mm. So how, how was your relationship with John? It being, was very being good. Sisters. Yeah, I'm mm. eight years older than him, so um, yeah, it was very good relationship. Mm. Yeah. And, when, and, and wh how, how did it feel when you were entering into Pakistan, the country where you basically, where he, he came with that all that excitement and then he just very mixed feelings. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, uh, we were greeted with so much welcome when we came, and uh, and uh, we, we we were really feeling the love when we came here. And we are coming with very mixed feelings mm -hmm. because it it is the last steps and his uh, steps of uh, uh, where he hoped to succeed, and we all hope. He would succeed, but he didn't. So it's it's the sorrow of that, and 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 then being welcomed so much. That we we mm -hmm. believe they still succeeded. I mean, taking mm -hmm. up that challenge. Yeah. Mm. That's that something was, big in that itself. That was in mm. itself, a, mm. you know, mm. a success. But were you the one who was always encouraging him in his missions, <laughs> yes, or were course. you ever scared? Yeah, uh, we were just uh, from the very start. We were like the team. Mm. Like I was, yeah. I supported him the, all the way because I, I knew he has a speci had a special talent for those big mountains. Ah, yeah. yes, yes. So he was a really strong climber, like Ali. Mm -hmm. So they they bonded really quickly and had a really good friendship. Mm. Okay, after, and after final, finally, yeah. um, like like, what about his his uh, burial? His uh, dead body is still there. Yeah. What uh, um, what do you want to be done with the body, uh, the burial and everything? Well, actually, uh, today there are four. Uh, they're probably going on a mission trying to recover him. Mm -hmm. um, uh, <coughs> the plan is to put him beside Ali. Okay. Uh, mm. Maybe they will bring him down. Uh, I, we really want to have him home, of course. Uh, I think everybody understands that. Of but, course, of course. But, of course, the most important thing for us is everybody is safe in the recovery. Yes. So, yeah, I'm just hoping that we will uh, at least put him on a place that he would be satisfied with. Mm. Inshallah, we hope so. Yeah. We hope so. What message would you give to the Pakistani people and uh, the mountaineering community? Uh, I would just like to say that. Uh, I respect their um, um, <laughs> you want to add the feeling that yeah, believe you can. The bonding. The bonding. Well, Pakistan will always be in our heart, yeah. our family heart. Mm. We, I think, we will forever be connected. And I remember Jan calling me and from K2 base mm. camp and told me, "Hey, Lina." You gotta come with me because I've I've seen places yeah. here that are are just exactly mm. like Iceland, mm. especially he mentioned one place that we call Thorsmörk, and he said it's just like Thorsmörk. Mm. You gotta come and see it. Mm. So, uh, you know, I you know there were really strong bonds from Jan to Pakistan. So, you know, and he really liked your nation and and the people of of the. Community, so no, we just want to say that you're always welcome here in mm -hmm. Pakistan mm -hmm. and Pakistani people are like yeah. family for you and uh, we hope 
that uh, his whatever you want with his body mm -hmm. should be done mm -hmm. and may he rest in peace thank you thanks thank a lot for coming to the thank show thank you so thank much you. thank you thank for you. having us